the Cameo 4 introduced new cutting capabilities, and along with that come some new tools. The rotary blade and the 3mm craft blade for the Cameo 4 take advantage of the different motor and increased force in Carriage 2. These tools use smart cut technology to orient their larger blades, making them ideal for certain flexible or thick materials. Let me show you how this works. You'll have the best results with Silhouette Studio version 4.3.353 or later. First, we'll look at a fabric project to cut with the rotary blade. I've opened this pumpkin pattern. Normally, I'd move these pieces off to the side to cut one at a time from the correct color, but I want to show you how the pieces look in the Send tab. We'll collapse Tool 1 because we can only use the rotary blade in Tool 2. The first time you use your rotary blade, twist the collar to expose the blade. You can leave it exposed from now on. No other manual adjustment is necessary. Place the rotary blade in Carriage 2 and the Cameo 4 will automatically detect it. The flat side faces back. Lock the blade in place while holding it down and sliding in the lock tab. Once the blade is automatically detected, you need to choose an appropriate material for the rotary blade. It's not suitable for cutting things like paper, so the software warns you to choose an appropriate material or make a custom setting. I'll choose Fabric Thin Cotton Print. Select your design and choose Rotary Cut for Tool 2. With your rotary blade detected and an appropriate material selected, your cut lines will switch to Smart Cut, which results in some extra cuts outside your design area. Your blade uses the extra cuts to orient the blade in order to cut corners and change position for new angles. The rotary blade doesn't turn tight corners like an auto blade and is often cutting materials either too dense or too soft for quick, tight turns. The blade will physically cut those extra lines shown in the preview. The settings shown are a starting point for the force and speed for your blade. Similar materials from different manufacturers or natural materials like leather may have some variance that requires adjustment to the setting from one material to the next. Carriage 2 is capable of a lot of force, so be careful as you make adjustments that you use the lowest force possible to cut your material cleanly. The same applies for the 3mm craft blade for the Cameo 4. The 3mm craft blade goes in the Cameo 4 Carriage 2 with the flat side towards the back. Make sure the blade is all the way down before pushing the lock tab in. This blade does require manual adjustment, and you'll know that based on the settings displayed for the material you choose. In the Send tab, select your design. Choose a material that's appropriate for the craft blade and choose Craft Cut if necessary. The Smart Cut line should appear for orienting your blade correctly as it cuts. You'll see a visible indicator to where to set your blade, which requires removing the blade from Carriage 2 and manually twisting the dial until it's at that blade setting. I recommend dialing all the way down to 1 or 0 and then pay attention as you twist to expose more and more of the blade so you know what number you're looking at for each of the three rows. The craft blade, like the rotary blade, can generate a lot of force. You'll likely find the most success by cutting in a series of passes, adjusting the blade depth from shallow to deeper with each pass. Depending on the material you're cutting, your earliest passes may also work better at a lower force, such as 10 or below. Dense materials, such as leather or balsa wood, may require as many as four to five passes to score and then cut through. This means you will physically increase the depth of the blade before sending the job each time. Do not unload the material from your Cameo 4 when adjusting the craft blade for subsequent passes. Your blade depth for the final passes should not be much thicker than the material itself, or you could cut through your mat. If you find the blade is deep enough to cut through but has not finished cutting through, then continue to send the job again without increasing the blade depth, but perhaps by increasing the force in small increments. To create a custom setting for the 3mm craft blade or the rotary blade for Carriage 2 and the Cameo 4, you can set that in the Send tab by choosing More, then type a material name, click the plus to set a Cameo 4 Tool 2 setting, click the lower plus to choose between Craft, Rotary, or Punch, then adjust your settings. 
Remember to set a low force to start, and then you can increase it on the main summary area for subsequent passes. Click Save and Exit, then find your custom material. The 2mm craft blade that works in the left tool holder for the Cameo 4, Cameo 3, or in the single tool holder for the Portrait 2 also uses smart cut technology with the extra cut lines to orient the blade. Both craft blades generally work best with a series of passes in increasing blade depths for dense materials rather than a single pass at a high force. We hope this helps you better understand Silhouette's new smart cut technology along with tips for best results with the rotary blade and craft blades.